Welcome. For those of you who've been with me since day one, thank you. For my new people, hey. So for today's recipe, we are going to make blackened salmon with lemon butter. So this recipe works well with fresh salmon, frozen salmon, whichever cut you like. The key is how you season it and how you cook it. So let's get to it. For this recipe, you will need two to four salmon fillets, two teaspoons of paprika, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of dried basil, half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper, one tablespoon of olive oil, and for our lemon butter, you will need one stick of butter at room temperature, two tablespoons of chopped parsley, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper, one teaspoon of minced garlic or one garlic clove, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. So before we start cooking our salmon, we're gonna make our herb butter. So in a bowl here, I'm gonna put my butter. And it's better if it's room temperature because you can maneuver it. It's gonna be hard if it's cold. Okay, I'm gonna add our minced garlic, our parsley, our lemon juice, and all of our spices, and just mix this up. So I'm going to cover this and put this in the refrigerator while we cook our fish. All right, so I mixed all of my spices and my olive oil right in this bowl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put it on top of my salmon and just press it in the flesh side up. If you are someone who hates the skin, you can peel it off. It's probably easier once it's cooked. Okay. So my salmon is seasoned. I'm going to use my cast iron um, skillet here. You don't have to use a cast iron, you can use a regular pan. I am going to add just a little bit of olive oil. That's about a tablespoon. Just gonna bring it around to you. Okay. I have my heat on medium high. And you'll know whether you wanna put it up or down once you start cooking it. You don't wanna overcook your fish. So I'm just gonna let this warm up for a second. All right, so our oil is hot. We are going to put our fish the season side down. So we're gonna flip our fish. As you can see, it's starting to look very nice. Now, if you like your fish a little rare, um, I would only cook it on this side for about two minutes and take it out. If your fish is thicker and you want it cooked well done, um, I would flip it on the sides. Looking good. And this is very quick. The cooking process only takes about 10 minutes. So 
My fish is done, but if you're like me and you like your flesh side to be a little bit crispier, you can flip it again, like I am going to do, and cook it for another two to three minutes. Mm. So if you're someone who doesn't like the skin, as you can see, I'm gonna take the skin off of this one just to show you. If you put your fork in between the skin and the fish here and just lift like this, you can just peel the skin off very easy. I don't mind it, so I don't really care, but you can take it off if you like. All right, our salmon is done. So remember our butter we made earlier. Just gonna put a little dollop here on top. Okay, just gonna help spread this a little bit. It's kind of melting already. And if you want more, that's up to you. So I am now going to eat a piece. Here's my salmon. That is good stuff. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. This is perfect with like mashed potatoes, some broccoli. Um, I put a lot of um, seasoning on top because that's how I like it. You don't have to do as much as I did. It's a little spicy. Mm. The butter helps calming down the spice. I also use smoked paprika so it is a little smoky. That's good. That is really good. So if you want to take a chance on this recipe, please take a picture and tag my Instagram page at gculinaryadventures and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, bye!